Hi there, I'm Logan Medish, and this is High Caliber History. While cruising the World War I photo sections of the National Archives, I stumbled upon this photo of a Colt 1911 semi-automatic pistol. Now, the gun itself is unremarkable in appearance. It's just one of 487,714 pistols made by Colt during World War I. It's the notation on the photograph that makes it special. Colt 45 pistol being prepared for production when Armistice was signed. That little piece of provenance makes this one special pistol. However, a deeper dive into the history of Colt's pistol production for World War I reveals a slightly different story. Colt received multiple contracts for pistols throughout the war, including one for an additional 200,000 guns on November 30th, 1918, 19 days after the armistice. On December 13th, the contract was canceled. According to the contract termination settlement, Colt continued production of pistols until March 15th, 1919, through serial number 629,500. That date is interesting because it's the same date listed on the photograph. Now, could it be that the caption is slightly off due to a misunderstanding by the person who was writing it? Instead of being the final pistol made on November 11th, 1918 at 11 a.m., perhaps it was actually the final pistol made on Colt's World War I contract on March 15th, 1919? Possibly. But there's also another possibility, and it's also linked to the information on the photo. The caption states that the photo was taken at the National Cash Register Company in Dayton, Ohio. National Cash Register was already under contract to make a wide variety of parts for airplanes. So could the location be wrong on the photo? Again, anything's possible, right? Because the need for wartime production could not be met by arms manufacturers alone, a number of other companies received contracts to make pistols during World War I. As a result, National received a contract for 100,000 pistols on July 22, 1918. As a result, National Cash Register tooled up to make pistols. Of course, this takes time, and the company probably wanted to have a sample gun on hand to see what exactly the end product was supposed to look like, how it was supposed to function, and what they were supposed to be living up to in their contract. My guess is that they weren't ready to produce until early November 1918. I say this because Colt shipped exactly one gun, serial number 527,971, to the Army Inspector of Ordnance at National on November 9th, 1918. It probably took a couple days for the gun to make the 800 or so mile trip from Colt in Connecticut to National in Ohio. Assuming a two-day delivery time, the gun would have arrived on November 11th, 1918, Armistice Day. Unfortunately, there's only one photo of this gun, and it's this photo, and it only shows the left side, which doesn't have the serial number. If we had another photo of the gun showing the right side, we could simply see if this was indeed serial number 527,971, making it the final Colt 1911 to be used as a wartime production example, or serial number 629,500, making it the final wartime contract pistol made by Colt on March 15, 1919. But we'll never know for sure. However, what I do know for sure is that I'm adding both of those serial numbers to my bolo list, just in case. At any rate, this photo is just one of the many hidden gems in the online databases of the National Archives. I never expected this image to lead me down this rabbit hole, but I'm really glad it did. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.